federal court filing exposing what attorneys call prison-like conditions at the shelter for unaccompanied migrant children in Homestead. The 600-page motion includes many emotional accounts from those children themselves. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has been going through that. She is live at that facility in Homestead with the latest tonight. Amber. And Francis, good evening to you. I went over several of these testimonies from these kids. I even toured this very facility around this time last year. I believe it was June. Heartbreaking then to see these kids separated from their families and heartbreaking now. Now, when I did tour the facility, it didn't seem prison like uh, at all. Of course, it's not homey for these kids being away from their families and their relatives. And now we are hearing from these kids themselves. Sadness, confusion, and fear coming out in dozens of testimonials taken from unaccompanied migrant children being housed at the nation's largest temporary housing facility in Homestead. The statements are part of a 600 page motion filed by attorneys Friday in the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California. They argue the facility is failing to comply with the Flores Agreement, a set of rules for how the federal government must care for unaccompanied migrant children. Under the agreement, children must be placed in a licensed facility as expeditiously as possible, and that officials make prompt and continuous efforts to release them to family members. Attorneys who interviewed the kids in November of 2018 and March of 2019 have found that what's always been described as temporary housing is feeling more permanent now in the eyes of some of these kids. One child, a 15-year-old from Guatemala, says, I have had four different social workers since I've been here, and they all tell me different things about what's happening with my release, which is confusing. Then, a 17-year-old from the same country reported feeling, quote, anxious, sad, and hopeless after finding out their sponsor was rejected for not being a blood relative. Other kids reported not having enough time to talk to relatives over the phone or being informed about their florist rights. As of now, the facility houses about 2,300 unaccompanied migrant children, all looking for a chance to reunite with their families. Well, Francis and Elliot back out here live in Homestead. The company that operates the facility here did not comment on the kids' statements. But again, when I toured the facility this time last year, around this time last year, again, I believe it was June, a spokesperson said, quote, their top priority is the safety of these kids. For now, we're live in Homestead. Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.